Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 85 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Glad to have you here. We've got some fun stuff to talk about. This is Thanksgiving week, and we're very thankful to be where we are now. Uh, we started with the vast majority of the tests we do now about two years ago, and uh, it's crazy to see everything that's changed and exciting to look at what we'll be doing in 2025 and even this last month before 2025 and we'll talk about some of that but um, as far as updates go um, this being a holiday week we have results going out today and tomorrow for fast tests and then our lab will be closed uh, thursday and friday so not too surprising but one to let you know for sure. Um, so the last fast test results will likely go out tomorrow night or maybe Thursday morning. I know last year we had so many coming through during the holidays that Sean was sending out people results Christmas morning. <laughs> so there could be some going out Thursday morning still. Um, we're very thankful, thankful to all of you for for all the orders that's really helping. I, I, I'm sure the 25% off sale has helped you but it's also helped us. We have this many orders still coming through, even though we're not in baby season anymore. So thank you very much. We're uh, very, very grateful. Um, let's see, as far as panels go, um, we will, it will probably be a couple weeks before we do the next panel run. So as we uh, do future shows, I'll give you a, a more set time when, when we'll be doing those. Um, but yeah, with, holidays and various things and that you know we're not in the middle of baby season anymore everything slowed down a little bit but we should be doing at least one run between now and christmas maybe maybe two just depending on how many sheds come in but either way we'll for sure have one coming here in the next couple of weeks something like that um let's see i think that's all i have for updates is there anything if there's anything i'm forgetting kayla will help me kayla how are you doing hey ben i'm good I was just thinking about like while you were talking about that, if you know, I had I wish I had like a little confetti button to just like wee, like um it would just be useful, you know, like the this time last year we didn't have nearly as many uh tests. And now, you know, when you mentioned that, I was like, I want a confetti button right here, little confetti can. Uh, um but no, those are that's pretty much it. Uh I mean, as far as covering um the normal business stuff, you know, we you got five days left for the 25% all off all shed tests. Um, so, you know, if you happen to order them when, on the days that our lab is closed, that's okay. We'll still honor it, um, from the day you order it. So, you know, um, take advantage of that. Uh, even and when we're in a food know, coma, <laughs> you know what we would love? Yeah. Just like, uh, Netflix, their, their site, they got so many people watching the, the fight with Jake Paul and Mike Tyson that it crashed <laughs> the site. We want to see you all crash morph market with a whole bunch of orders coming through. If, if we hear from Darian that he had so many coming through on like the 29th, 30th, and, <laughs> you know, that crashed the site, then we will, we will uh, take note. We'll have to do this more often if y'all hit it like that. <laughs> oh yeah. It's okay. I think Darian would like it. He would probably make the funniest. He, he would have <laughs> meme fodder on Facebook for days, weeks even. Right. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and of course, uh, if you want to order in bulk, if you want to get even lower prices for shed testing, um, ordering in bulk is the way to do it. Uh, whether you're ordering morphs or if you've got a whole bunch of baby colubrids hatching out, um, you know, you can get it as low as even $15 per test, especially for colubrid sex determination. Um, all you got to do is if you've got a bunch to send in, uh, email Sean at rarejaninc at gmail.com and he can hook you up. Um, he'll give you a quote. And if you do it before the end of this month, uh, we may even be able to get you something steeper, depending how many you're ordering. Um, so yeah. order those in advance um, and that we'll honor it. Yes. Uh, and we'll honor it like through the next year plus, um, you know, just uh, we try to make it easy for you guys. And this is the best time to get in on it. Yeah. Um, so when, when Kayla says we'll honor it, if you pay for it now, you know, by before the end of November, that that test isn't going to, you know, that that you purchased isn't going to become invalid. So, so yeah, if you want to exactly. pay for it now and use it in the spring or use it in the summer or even next fall, you know, that's it's going to be good. But the thing that isn't going to keep on going is the 25 percent off. That's that's going to end. So get your order in before before everyone crashes the site. Exactly. <laughs> uh, plus, uh, I mean. 
if you order it now, you know, you can sit and wait and see, you know, like chances are you'll like, we'll come out with more tests Well, we are going to come out with more tests and it might even be for something that you've been waiting for and you'll already have those tests socked away, ready to go. So yeah. um, it's worth a shot. Uh, but just in general, uh, we wanted to, you know, in the, in the theme of the, the season, you know, we just wanted to mention how thankful that we are for you guys. Cause we, the people who have been, uh, donating sheds to our work, um, have literally made this what it is. Um, so we're really grateful, uh, as well as those of you who have been following us, you know, since we're closing in on two years of doing reptile genetics weekly. Um, and we're at, uh, nearly three K, so, uh, yeah, nearly three K subs, um, which is small for you too, but that's huge for us. And we love it. It's awesome. We've done, this is just like a little, uh, shot of all of our most popular episodes. Um, and it's just been a great year. So we're really grateful. Um, and you know, I had my first clutch this year baby rat snakes actually the on the right side there the little dude and his mom there uh he i actually got an update on him just a couple days ago uh and he's about the little baby rat snake there is like two foot long now wow. uh, he's so big i'm so proud of him his name's anakin now <laughs> <laughs> oh so it's been awesome fun stuff it's been a good year that's for sure yeah a whole bunch of new tests we're actually up to um, I think we counted 44 morph tests right now, not including um, sex determination uh, for various species. But, um, you know, we've done a lot. We've seen a lot of cool stuff. Um, you know, there was like the chondro ball situation that was just a couple of months ago with Matt Yates and, uh, you know, the interesting chimera um, from American Made Exotics where, you know, they had that baby ball python that was split just right down the middle. Um, <laughs> going to have some hog, actually, hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll have a situation where we have hog noses like that. Um, I've been yeah. talking to snakes morphs and they recently got back to me. So fingers crossed they're waiting on sheds from all these babies. And of course, our goal for the end of the year is to get to 55 morph tests. You want to talk about that, Ben? Yeah. So that puts us at 11 that we want to be able to get finished between now and December 31st. So it's only a little over a month. Um, try to get these finished off. So we've uh, had a whole bunch of work that we've been doing. We have some some awesome people. One person in particular that uh, some of you have met at shows. But we'll we'll probably um, have a publication or, or have him come on the show or something. I'll I'll see what I can talk him into. But he's put in a lot of work to help us uh, get to where we are. And and uh, I've been working very hard on a whole bunch of new data and, and ways to analyze the data uh, these last couple of weeks. And it looks very good that we will be able to come, come through with another 10 or 12 in the next month, month and a half, and then another 10 or 12 in the next month, month and a half after that. So by sometime in January or February, we should be either 60 or, or 65, something like that for ball Python tests. So Ooh. very excited about that. But, but right now, the one that we'll follow up on the last episode of this, of this year, or the first episode of 2025, we'll, we'll follow up and see if we got to the 55 and see what all ones, I, I would say some of them will be ones that, that you will not surprise you all, but others, you may be like, Oh, I didn't even know they were working on that one. <laughs> so yeah. sometimes things just pop you know, really easy and fast. And other times it takes us forever. So, so some of the, the likely suspects hopefully we'll have wrapped up and, and anyway, it'll, it'll be pretty cool. I'll be very thankful to have this, this next batch of 10 or 12 done. And like I said, before December 31st, I hope. Fingers crossed for monsoon. That's been <laughs> killing That'd everybody. Be good one. Yeah. Monsoon, Monarch, GCR slash MJ, Xanthic, paint i mean there's several mm -hmm. of them that we've gone through multiple rotations so hopefully oh, yeah. we can finally put a bow on at least some of those if not all that's exciting all right um so we're talking about uh possibly restructuring the panel test um we've kind of hinted, hinted at that in the past but um this is the time of year that we want to look into it so uh ben do you want to talk about that yeah, so we've kind of held the 
panel to be 30 tests and we haven't changed what those 30 are yet um because mm -hmm. we've just kind of i don't know sean and i've talked back and forth and we've talked to a few few of you out there maybe you've had this discussion with me and or sean but just kind of brainstorming what would be the best way to what what types of panels would be the most helpful to everybody mm -hmm. and when i was talking to kayla about it, i was like well maybe we should put some choices up and put a poll up and yeah and see what people think so we would really appreciate it that's one of the best things you can do for us if you see this this episode would be to vote on the poll and uh kayla will be able to tell you about how to do that and i'm sure it will be in the description uh for yep. the video as well but um the the first choice and I'm not saying we can only do one of these. We may be able to do a couple of these and maybe eventually we can do all four of these. But as far as uh, our GI, our focus, our resources over the next couple of months or four months, something like that, um, definitely sometime the first quarter of 2025, we'd like to make some some changes to what panels are available to make them the most helpful for all of you. Mm -hmm. So the the first choice is to tell us, hey, the thing that I really, really want is to just be able to send a shed in and have it tested for everything. So the mega panel. The the panel that just covers everything. And it will still be the same thing where it will be a little bit of difficulty for me to update it when we have new tests come out. But after we get to like 65, I don't expect there to be as many new tests as we have over the last you know couple of years. I think it'll slow down because we'll have the, you know, the most important tests. We'll have those already developed. Uh, but, but yeah, just let us know in the, in the poll, if the number one thing for you would be to, to be able to just send a shed in and just have everything run. If that's your top priority, then we want to know. Um, the mm -hmm. second choice is um, we could still have a, obviously the choice number one, that's going to be more expensive because we'd go from doing a 30 panel to, here pretty quick, it'll be 55 or 65, somewhere in there. So obviously that price would have to go up. So mm -hmm. it wouldn't be, I think we're at 130 right now. Um, that yep. price would probably go up or would have to go up to be able to run twice or maybe even more than twice as many. Choice number two, what we thought might be a really good choice is we could run 30 of the most commonly ordered tests. So we would Go, Sean and I will go into our 2024 data and look at what people got tested the most. And we would just take those first 30. So probably some of them that are on the 30 panel right now will get dropped. And some of them that aren't on there, like, I don't know, Fire, Pastel, GHI, I don't know what it would be. But some of the newer ones um, would replace those. So we would literally just take the top 30 ordered tests in 2024 and then I would make that be our new 30 panel. So then that way the price would stay the same and you would be getting, I, I would imagine for most people, a better panel because it will be the, the most commonly ordered things. Choice number three would be, we could break it up and say, okay, we have these 60 tests and let's have one panel where it's all recessives and one panel where it's all everything else, all the incomplete dominance and dominance. Um, so. If you think that would be a really good way to do it? That, that's what you would order the most would be either a recessive panel or a other panel with the dominance and incomplete dominance. That's number three. And then the last one would be what you really care about are, are the smaller panels. And the, the biggest benefit to doing the panels as smaller panels is they'll be fast. So choices mm -hmm. one, two, and three, those are going to be the, you know, three to four or five week turnaround like our full panel or our 30 gene panel is right now. Um, but if you choose number four and we're just doing small panels or doing the yellow belly complex, the blue eyed Lucy complex, the fire complex, all the albinos and ultra male, lavender, that stuff, or spider complex or the eight ball complex. So we could kind of break them up into these different complexes or, you know, groupings of, of similar types of mutations with the albinos there, not in the same complex, but it's a similar trait. Um, that you could test for. So if you have an albino or ultra male looking thing, then you could just test it for all of them. So if you think that those having all small panels would be the most helpful for you, then vote for number four. And what, what will really help us is just to know for each of you that are willing to vote, take the time to vote. Just let us know which one of these you think you would order the most out of these four. And like I said, it, it's not necessarily that we're only going to do one of these. We may be able to do like number one and number three or number one and number four, 
or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, once we know from all of you, your feedback, what would be the most helpful for you, then we'll know, okay, very few people care about this one, or it, it's everybody cares about this one, you know, or it's kind of evenly split. There are people that want to be able to get all of these. Um, that, that will really help us to be able to make our decisions uh, more informed and more helpful to all of you, which is the whole reason we exist is to help you with your breeding. So we want, we want your feedback. That will be really, really helpful. Uh, so definitely let us know. And if you have any further input for it, feel free to let us know in the comments. Um, you could tell us, you know, the one that you're most likely to use. But, you know, if you have one that you think the hobby would probably need the most, you know, tell us that in the comments or, you know, list them from, give, tell us what you think. Yeah, um, yeah. And you could also tell us, hey, this is the one that would help me the most. But in the comments, you could say, you know, this is the one that would help me the most. But for yep. my customers that I sell to, they always want this or that or whatever, you know, that's helpful too. Let mm -hmm. us know what helps you. But then also if you hear a lot of people say, Oh, I wish I had this, or I wish we could do it that way or whatever. Yeah. I, I like Kayla's suggestion there. Tell us, tell us in the comments. And if you have a choice number five or number six that you think would be better than the four we have up. Yeah. Let us know. We, we are very open. This is the perfect time to tell us what you think, because what, what we hear over the next two to four weeks, um, that's going to be what we're going to shoot for in the first quarter of 2025 for any kind of panel tests. Yep. Share it on your Instagram, share it to the world of ball pythons, help let us know. Like we want to know what the community thinks. Um, so de we definitely appreciate that input. Yes. Um, and for this week's shed donor shout out, uh, it's none other than um, uh, golden arm reptiles. Uh, we, uh, This guy does all kinds of species. Um, ball pythons. I think he's working on retics right now. Um, he's got some nice, uh, are those Morelia there? Yep, that, yeah, pythons. I think they're jungles. Looks like it. So pretty. Um, and uh, we've met him at shows. Uh, and he's got all kinds of really nice Instagram con content that I highly recommend. Uh, unboxing new snakes, uh, clutch like clutches, egg cutting shows, just, you know, general fun stuff. Um, I enjoyed just the, like, you know, like going through getting these screenshots, uh, lots of fun stuff mm -hmm. on there. So worth a follow. And uh, what um, what did he help donate, actually, um, as far as like supporting our uh, our shed research? Yeah. So the most the most recent sheds that he sent in were super vanillas. So they kind of help finish up the, the fire complex. I, like I said, a while back, we could use more vanilla and disco. And if you have vanilla or disco, especially super vanilla, super disco, still send them in. Um, we are making good progress on that. We might have it before too long, but we can still use more sheds. But yeah, J uh, Dustin sent some some super vanilla sheds in. So that was very helpful. And he's over the last couple of years helped uh, multiple times. Awesome. Well, thanks, Dustin. And make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. Uh, check out his social media and Morph Market. Uh, he does have some animals uh, listed on there. So worth checking out. Um, and I think that's all we have for today, Ben. So, uh, do we, um, got anything else before we call it, a, call it a day? Nope. Just once again, very thankful. That's part of what I'll be thinking about on, on Thursday, on Thanksgiving day. That just and eating about. so much food. <laughs> yes. That very thankful for the support, the orders and the excitement for, for what we're doing and just the general excitement for the animals that you all produce and being able to see them at shows and, and feel your excitement in person is, is a lot of fun. It makes what I'm doing when I'm staying up late, looking at A's, T's, C's and G's, it uh, makes it uh, more exciting knowing that it's going to help all of you. Definitely. All right. Well, thanks guys. And we'll see you next week. Y'all stay, stay safe this weekend. If you're traveling, by the way, drive yeah. safely. Um, okay. <laughs> now uh, see y'all next week. Outro in three, two, what? Thank you.